All right, finally made it. Woo, After six. a six hour drive from New York, just so you I guys know. know, we're freaking die hard New York fans. Let's go! Here. Oh, it's different this time. All right, it's halftime. It's halftime. Say what's up. My sister came down from college. No, I've been home. She's been home in New York, but you know, winter break. Um, nice okay. first quarter, and the second quarter we just kind of lost it. We lost giving it. Giving away the game. So hopefully we can have a strong third quarter coming back in. We need the win tonight. It's his birthday. We need a win for my birthday. Um, mixed up, mixed up by one. RJ had a nice shot then. RJ's been doing really well. RJ's been doing game. well. Alfred's been a little bit iffy so far, but maybe we'll pick it up. I'm a good luck charm. She's a good luck charm. I think the Knicks have won every game my sister's come to. Yes. Which is a mean feat considering <laughs> we're the Knicks. Um, but this Wizards team isn't that good. They're missing too many guys for this game to be just close. They're missing Beal and they're missing... Everyone. There's like six other guys. Bertans. So I'm, anyway, I'm hoping that oh the second God. half, we see the Knicks really nail it down. There's like a truck over me right now. <laughs> what is going on? Guys, so our trip to DC was a success. Thanks to Dream, my daughter, who seems Shout to out have, to my sis. who seems to always get a win for us when she comes. Go four and oh. When she comes. My sister's to the game. record is four and zero. Oh. And Mike Miller's record is five and six. Hey. So if we keep on this track, we're doing pretty good. Julius Randle tonight. Oh my goodness, this is again exactly what we wanted to see from this kid, and this is what he wanted too. He was yeah. coming here to give us this. I mean, the most points out of all of the next playing, 30 points, 15 rebounds. I think 16 right? rebounds, I think, in the end. Yeah, Six sorry, assists. I don't, I don't, I don't want to give you wrong, wrong Julius stats. actually had, which is crazy, he's now had three 30-point yeah. games in a row. Remember Amari had that record that he broke from Patrick? When Amari came over, Amari had like, I think, nine or 11. I can't remember where it ended up, but he had that 38 points record. Let's see how Julius keeps going. We got a tough one against Portland next. Mel's return to the garden. So we'll see. But tonight, listen, this Wizards team is not good. They're missing like six of the top players. There wasn't a lot here that you're saying, oh my God, this is amazing. But what I can say is under Mike Miller, the team has been executing when they have to at times. They've been in games, they've been competitive, they're playing for each other, they're playing harder. I think he's making he's making smart decisions with the rotation, smart timeouts. timeouts. It's not perfect, but we are five and six and the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Even in a game like this where I thought Peyton tonight was really not that good. A lot of turnovers. Right. Um, you still see the team being able to figure things out. I thought Frank had a little bit of a bounce back game tonight. Saw it from the line. Right. Needs, still needs to score a bit more, but hit a big three late that we needed. A little foul trouble again with Foul Mitch. trouble again. Mitch had foul, but still right. had a double-double. Yep. And, um, and I'm seeing Mike Miller coaching. He's coaching. Even at the very end of guys. the game, and we had like 13, 14 seconds left, and we obviously won the game. And we were up by like seven. He still sat down with his clipboard, and he was coaching the team. So it's not just, oh, yeah, we won, so sit back on your laurels. But no, I'm coaching you guys. And even you know his body movements, the way that he was... Um, Sort of touching the guys, and that sounds weird, but like <laughs> kind of seeing him like doing one, like doing these, and really having that conversation with the guys. So they definitely all seem to be locked in, uh, playing a different a different basketball game than what they were playing under Fizz. Yeah, I have to say it. I think you see Julius is the one benefiting the most from this. The ball's not in his hands as much, and even when it is, he seems to be making smart decisions. Of course, this might have come with time anyway, but as they say, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And whatever hypothetical thing you think might have happened with Fizz, I will take what's happening now mm -hmm. over that. Fizz was here for 104 games. It was not just this year. Right. And Mike Miller already is already past Fizz's win total from this season. In 11 games, he's beating what Fizz did in 22. And let's see how we go for the rest of the season. I know there are going to be trades coming up. There's Dennis Smith Jr. trade rumors. There's a lot he's to unpack. Gone. He's, he's gone. He's he, gone. He, he and, might and, be gone. And, and, and he so said and, today, though, and, that he did not. He's, he wants to stay wanna... here. So, well, but, but I, a lot of times I, you won't say that, you know, right. they have an agent say something to I the think team. that DSJ and Trey are gone. Most be, likely they honest. are. Yeah, Most likely they are. I think DSJ, Trey, and then probably Marcus Murray, just because the, it's going to be the too value. attractive to get a right. pick back. The value is too good. But right now, my birthday's tomorrow. I came down to DC. The Knicks won. I'm happy. We got a win. 
Let's go Knicks. The, by the way, Knicks fans are amazing. Oh, the wow, DC yeah. fan, the fans that were here some clips then because we got crazy. some nice video of some oh, guys man, today. The, you gotta love it. I just got to love the camaraderie and the spirit even in a season like this where we're like 9 and 24 or whatever. But like I said, really positive signs in the last 11 games. Miller's at getting these guys to buy in. That's all you want to see. Um, still some work from Ke Kevin Knox. I still got to show a lot more. Didn't like what I saw from him tonight. Um, but I'm going to focus on the positives. Go New York. <laughs> Go New York. Peace, Peace out. It's Terry and Trey, and you know the vibes. If you like the show, please subscribe. And check out some of our other stuff. Click right here.